Hello everyone, welcome to 3dedesignacademy.com. In this lesson, we will learn about how to create a ball corner. In the previous lesson, we've explored how to create a ball corner using the ball corner tool. In today's lesson, we're going to be using a different tool. So I think I've explained enough about the theory and what a ball corner is in the previous lesson. So I'm just going to hide this one right here and I'm going to get straight to it. So before we start, uh, I still need to put the fillets back on it. So let me just do that first. So I'm just going to change this to cord G2 on the surface fillet tool. I believe the these sides were 50. The form factor, I'm going to set it at 2. And for the flow control, I'm going to set both of, both the start and end to edge align. So I'm just going to do one here. Actually, before I continue, let me just set this trim type to carbon surface so that we can get a nice fillet all the way through instead of short, uh, stopping in the middle. Okay, so that one there and this one I believe was 75. So let me we'll just put that in like this. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. So I'm just going to delete the construction history over here. I'm going to trim over here, trim over here, and trim over here. So I, uh, our basic fillet sets, or the secondary surfaces, are done. So now let's go over here. On the surfaces, there's a tool called a corner blend tool. Now, this is a relatively new addition. I believe it is. it was added probably either 20 or 19, I believe. So let me just double click on this and you'll see that uh, we have the controls over here. So it is actually very similar to how the ball corner tool works, uh, except the controls are a little bit different. So let me just go ahead and build a ball corner over here. So I'm just gonna click on the three transitional surfaces like this. I'm gonna say accept and it says select the base surface. That would be the fourth edge where that corner would be, the rounded corner, because everything in Alias has to be uh, has to have four edges. So I'm just going to click over here. I'm going to say accept. Now, by default, uh, the base radius is 10. Uh, the continuity tab is set to G1 tangent. So I'm just going to change that to G2. You will see that it changed. And the base radius, actually, actually, before we continue, let me just explain a few things. So the continuity type G1 tangent and the base radius is the radius of this one over here. So let me just go ahead and I'm just going to do a little measurement. So let me just go to locators, curve curvature, and I'm going to min max radius, measure this one. Okay, so this refers to, now it's not exactly 10, but it is around 10. So you'll see that it's 10.1 uh, ranges from 9.965 to 10.102. Uh, so now even if you change it to curvature, uh, the radius, the, the size doesn't really change, the radius does because it is curvature. So with this one, I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, maybe 20. I think that looks pretty good. And I'm going to see if I can do an explicit control five and five like this, and I'm just going to do a continue check. And with this one, we were able to achieve a curvature on all sides. Now, compared to the ball corner tool, um, there are times this function doesn't really work just because you have to make sure that you are aware of the size reference. However, there are, I do feel like, um, with limited knowledge, uh, I do feel like this does achieve continue a little bit better than the ball corner tool. Uh, very similar tools, a little bit different controls, but they are very good at achieving a very uh, simple ball corner like this. All right, so that is the second way to create a ball corner. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time.